Hello everyone. So today we have a article coming out from Reuters where it says Facebook and Twitter dismantle global array of disinformation networks. Now I'm going to read on and I'm going to give our opinion, but we've got to actually talk about this because this is a big one. Facebook and Twitter said on Thursday that they had taken down more than a dozen disinformation networks used by political and state-backed groups to deceive users on the social media platforms in multiple countries. In separate statements, the two companies said they had identified and suspended more than 1,000 accounts between them, which used fake identities and other deceptive behaviors to spread false or misleading information. The networks announced on Tuesday targeting users in a wide array of countries, including the United States, Saudi Arabia, Cuba, Thailand, Miramar, Nigeria, and the Philippines, and Azerbaijan. Facebook said the people responsible for the sweeping disinformation activity were often associated with political groups who targeted domestic audiences, so people here at home. Twitter said that five networks it had suspended were separately linked to groups with ties to the governments of Iran, Saudi Arabia, Cuba, Thailand, and Russia. After coming under heavy fire for failing to stop alleged Russian efforts to sway the 2016 U.S. election, Facebook and Twitter have announced a string of high-profile takedowns in the weeks leading up to this year's presidential vote. In multiple cases, the social media companies have worked with the U.S. law enforcement to track and dismantle political influence campaigns targeting U.S. voters, which have been attributed to foreign states, most notably Iran and Russia. Tehran and Moscow have repeatedly denied the allegations. And so here you have it, out of the horse's mouth. They're saying they didn't do this kind of thing. But here's the thing about MAGA groups, people who are in the Trump groups. You get all walks of life there. They're actually attacking diversity. Do you not see that right now they're attacking diversity? Oh no, there's people from other countries that are originally from there. How many of those people did you say were from America? that lived in the United States right now. I would argue that this is more fighting against our freedom of speech. This is more going after us for being ourselves, for speaking our mind. On our channel, we'll lose our channel. We'll get suspended without so much as a strike on our channel. We already had it happen. They don't want you to talk about certain things. It doesn't matter how lewd you are. It doesn't matter how crude you are. I see YouTubers on here all the time cussing their little heads off. I've seen drunk people on here all the time. It's not a big deal to YouTube. Matter of fact, they let Logan Paul film a whole bunch of crap and it was fine until people spoke up. So all they really care about is their selves and if they have any business involving censoring you, they're going to censor you. They don't mind censoring your voice as Americans. And furthermore, we have to ask, why in the world would you even think it's okay to silence other people's voices in other countries? Aren't you the same group, the same Democrat group that said that everybody everywhere should be able to vote in American elections? You want illegal immigrants to vote in our elections, but they're not allowed to speak their opinion? Come on. So it's okay if it's Americans that say something bad about them, right? Well, here I am. I'm a minority American and you banned my channel because I had an opinion that was adverse to you. This is what they do. They silence you for saying things that they don't want you to say. And Facebook, Google, Twitter, they're all controlled by the people that happen to be of a per certain party. These are controlled by rich Europeans. So when you say, well, Russia has influence, Russia has no influence compared to the liberal Democrat agenda. Those people literally operate on people at a higher playing level than Google. The Rothschilds, the Soros family, you name it, has a higher rating as far as money and control than Google does. So you tell me if Google and YouTube and Twitter and all these social media sites have the right to silence your voice. We ask this other question. If this world is full of misinformation and you think it's misinformation, instead of silencing their voice, why don't you put some kind of captions at the bottom that say, hey, we think this is misinformation or we think this is fake news. Because you're no different than Trump when you go around saying, well, this is fake news. This isn't fake news. This is fake news. You don't have a right to make that assertion. And I gotta say, when you get mad at Trump and you say, oh, well, he's trying to claim fake news again. Look at this and tell me it's not fake news. Your media is making it to where your own people can't talk. What if you had family from there? 
that's not aggravating at all to know that your family got mistreated by a different government that's supposedly not racist, that is supposed to be diverse. What business Facebook CEO of anything has to do with people from another country commenting on Facebook itself? Why is that a problem that they are commenting on Facebook? Why is that a problem that they're commenting on Twitter? People were trolling Donald Trump's account and you didn't care. You thought it was hilarious. The point being is this, this is obvious bias and you're shutting down freedom of speech. I can't believe this is going on in our country. And for all of these people to not know that it's going on or allow it to happen to continue. I can name a plethora of names where they're going to get the band hammer very soon. Very soon. I think your buddy Tim, Tim Poole, I think he's going to get it pretty soon. He's been talking too much about the virus and they're not going to like it. And if he doesn't get banned, we have some serious questions of whether or not he's in their pockets or if he's actually a misinformation informant. When we see all of these black YouTubers not being banned for saying the same thing that our group said. You guys won't openly ban black YouTubers. We're supposed to support them. Well, that must really confuse you when they're sitting there on the conservative side of the issues. And folks, this should worry you. This should worry you severely because this is an announcement of a revocation of your freedom of speech. It really is because they're saying this is global. They're doing this globally across the world, folks. If you have a problem with anything any communist says, we're going to take you down. We're going to ban you. Why in the world would you silence voices? And what business is of it is Facebook's to even silence anyone's voice? You're a social media platform. Why don't you take advice from BitChute? If you go on BitChute, you will see some crazy stuff. And you know why? Because they don't care. They don't care. It's a social media platform. People are going to be vile. People are going to be wicked. If you don't like it, flag it, move on. Maybe they do something about it. But I got to tell you, when we can't speak our mind, when you're not even being violent, repugnant, this kind of, that kind of, whatever, it's always something. The more it goes, the more we're going to have to where people can't even talk that we're not going to be able to talk on the internet. We're not going to be able to talk in the real world. The best thing to teach anyone nowadays is maybe don't even talk because you're some kind of ist. You're racist or sexist. It's always something that they can get you on no matter what. And it's worse if you're particularly white. Poor white people, everything they say is something that's supposed to be racist. Seriously. They have websites that are dedicated to explaining to you what is racist and it will go as far as to explain how chocolate covered marshmallows are racist, how camping is racist. They've got you hook, line and sinker by the information that they have themselves have posted all over the internet, but then they come back and tell you that you can't post your own theorems, that you can't post your own theories. If I come on here to YouTube and I post something and I say, well, it's all my theory. It's all my opinion. Am I allowed then to say it? No. And I think it's a creepy precedence you're setting upon everyone. You're saying that if a political opponent's group has a problem and wants to express it, that they're going to be shut down and everybody should be freaked out by this because one day it might be your turn. Just like slavery, it should be abolished because no one, white, black, Asian, whatever, no one should be under slavery. And what can be done to them can be done to you. It's the golden rule of life. Anyway, folks, you have a wonderful afternoon, a good morning, a good night, whichever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that around here. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you don't hit the notification bell, sometimes you're not going to get our videos. God bless each and every one of you. See ya.